welcome or welcome back to my channel today's eyeshadow look is going to be a very soft glam very wearable for daytime and nighttime occasions and this is a brand new makeup practice board so we're going to be seeing how all the products perform on top of it very first thing we're going to do here is eyebrows. So I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Powder Duo in the shade Ebony. So as you can see here, there are some kind of hair-like strokes already on the board. I am going to be using that as a baseline. In today's look, I'm actually not going to go super in-depth and in detail for the eyebrows i can definitely make a whole separate video on that if you guys want to see but for now i am just using short strokes to create kind of real life looking hairs once you've created that initial shape you're going for you can go ahead and just start filling that in the brows are filled in now i'm going to be shaping them up using some dish soap this is the best way i found to really easily remove product off of these boards i've seen a lot of people cutting creases cleaning up eyebrows with concealer which is good but i definitely think on these silicone boards the best thing is to get some dish soap i am using the brush that came with the board it's a very thin brush very flexible does such a great job I did make these brows a little too fluffy than my liking for this look, so I am just cleaning them up, just transforms the eyebrows completely. I'm gonna do the other brow off camera and I will be back. All right, and this is how the brows turned out. I absolutely love them. We're going in with our first base shade here in the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Shade is called Certified. I'm taking it on a fluffy brush and we're going to be applying this all over the lid up to the brow bone to create a nice base. This will also mat out this very, very shiny board. The same brush wiping that excess product off and taking the shade Perfectionist in the same palette. We're going to be applying this with the fluffy brush in the crease. I want to point out that I did use powder as the base for the eyelid instead of concealer and I did that because concealer tends to slip very easily off the board so it's just better not to use it. Taking this new palette I actually got from Amazon, I'm taking this nice kind of corally shade and applying this all over the eyelids up into that first color we put. I am packing this color on with a flat paddle brush. It's gonna be the best way to ensure this color will really pop. And I can honestly tell right off the bat that these colors are coming out super pigmented. And just note that a lot of fallout can fall onto your board from the eyeshadow. But don't worry about that. We are going to be cleaning the whole board at the end. I'm taking this 35N Morphe palette and going in with this light tan shade on a tapered blending brush. And I'm going to be using this right in between the two shades. This is going to blend that out. Dipping into the same palette, I'm taking this reddish, brownish type of shade and we're going to be applying this just on the outer corner of the eyelid. We're creating a kind of like a V on the outer corners. Same palette, dipping into this brown that does still have that red undertone. It's a darker shade this time. We're really going to concentrate on the inside of that outer V that we have just created. This is going to create a lot more depth for these eyes. This brush is a rounded little dense blending brush. So just tapping it on top of that eyeshadow, really just going to diffuse it into the other shades. Next, we're taking the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette, dipping into this shifting, shimmering, buttery shade called Underground on a flat, synthetic brush. Adding this shine on the center of the eyelid is really creating more dimension on these eyes and making it look much more realistic. Going into the shade called Basic Trut, this is kind of the same shade as the makeup practice board and I'm just putting this right on the brow bone and kind of blending it into that first transition shade that we put down. Okay, so as you can see, there is a liner on this board. I accidentally did forget to click record on this, but I just went ahead and grabbed this dark brown, almost black liner. And as you can see here, the brush tip is so thin that it's just so easy to do a nice thin eyeliner on your makeup practice board. 
And I always like to connect the inner corner to the liner and really just get rid of that negative space so everything looks cohesive. In order to put some eyeshadow and some product on the bottom waterline, I definitely have to go in and remove this excess product that has fallen from the eyeshadow. Taking a paper towel, just ripping a piece of that and dipping it into some dish soap. And I'm just going straight onto the board and wiping that excess product off. Okay, so our board is nice and clean, but I do notice some staining. And that's honestly just disappointing for me to see because the shadow that did fall was orange. It was a light shade. So the fact that it's staining is just not a good sign. Anyway, I'm taking just a flat straight brush, dipping it into some of that dish soap again and cleaning off the edges. And because in today's look, we're going to be going for a kind of elongated V type shape of eyeshadow. This part is crucial. Going back into the Morphe 35N palette, I'm taking this pinky brown nude shade right on the bottom lower lash line. So now we are going to diffuse that bottom shade we just put on with some of this kind of caramel brown and I'm putting that right on top with this round blending brush. Now dipping into this dark kind of chocolate shade, we're going to be putting this as close to the bottom lash line as possible. And as you can see, I've kind of changed the way I'm holding the board just to be able to do so. And this darker shade will also create a lot more depth and give us that smudgy bottom lash line. So we're going to be taking this white eyeliner. It's the same brand as the brown one I had previously used for the liner. And we're gonna be taking this on the waterline, which is really going to open up these eyes and create the illusion that they're bigger than they actually are. It is finally time to apply some lashes on this board. These are very realistic looking ones. And then using the strip lash adhesive from KISS, the brush on one, which is really, really handy. Just applying a thin layer on the lash band, going to add a little more on the ends of the lashes just so they can stick very well to the board. Even when applying lashes on the makeup practice board, just like applying falsies on your real eyelashes, you really wanna make sure the glue is tacky enough to just stick right on. Now this part is completely optional. I'm just using a very small pencil brush and I'm applying kind of a lighter tan type of shade here to create a nose contour. Now I am going to be taking a fluffy angled brush, grabbing that same shade and continuing the contour into the eyeshadow. This part is really going to make sure that everything looks as realistic as possible. Moving on to some finishing touches, I really want to blend in these falsies with the eyeliner that's on the board. So I'm taking just a black liner this time, very thin once again. I'm going to fill in the negative spaces, any clear spaces that do not have eyeliner. And here we go, this is the finished look that we've created together. Soft glam with a pop of color is going to be so amazing for so many different kinds of occasions. Even if you want to wear this on a daily basis, you can definitely do that. It's super wearable for nighttime and daytime. Overall, I'm really happy with the way this board performs once applying powder, liners, shimmers onto it. Honestly, it's been a breeze. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like and comment and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more makeup related content. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.